Hi, it's Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really simple, but really effective, I think, happy birthday card. It uses the Picture Perfect birthday stamp set, as you can see here, and it also uses the Picture Perfect Party Designer Series paper stack. So this is a stack of 48 sheets of designer series paper. They're all six by six inches um, or just over 15 centimeters square. And on one side, as you can see, there are all these uh, photographic images, uh, candles, donuts, yay, letters, no, not letters, numbers, ice cream, always is my good favorite of mine. Um, boxes made with some of the designer series paper, which I think is really genius. Um, some of the little ruffly bits the bows, just some circles cut out of all the different paper with a few silver and gold thrown in, uh, party hats, they're so cute, and the one we're going to be using today which is the balloons. And on the other side, so they've got all the pictures on, and then on the other side they're the more standard um, paper designs that you might expect to see from Stamping Up. So I like the fact that you get the option of both, you get both um, types of image and of course because it's a paper stack you get four each of all of these designs and that is a massive amount of card of paper so we're going to use this one and I just I left it whole I didn't cut it down to size because I wanted to show you how um, how I cut that down to make sure that that balloon was in the center because that's where you're going to be popping your stamping so you can see it's this piece here uh, but it needs to be sort of central so let me move that out of the way this is my this is my second layer on my card because I've got my card base which is uh, lemon lime twist and then I've put peekaboo peach underneath so this one is 10 by 14.4 which means that this one has to be 13.9 by nine and a half but I want that balloon central so get my trimmer out see if you can see okay it's a little shiny how about there that's better not much there we go okay so we'll see that try that so I want that balloon central but if I took this to 9.5 from this edge the balloons kind of halfway over here so I thought right let's just move this over a bit to like 10 and a half and we'll take a centimeter off this side and a piece off this side and hopefully it will come together what did I do? Actually, I might have done 10. Yeah, I did 10. So 10, cut, turn it round, 9.5, and cut that. And it's a little tiny piece you're cutting off. And then I just did the same. I needed it to be 14.4. I want it to be sort of a bit more in the middle. So I brought it down to sort of 14 point, what's that? 14 point set seven took that end off turned it around 14 no I need it to be 13.9 don't I sorry 13.9 definitely is going to take too much off that so bring that down a bit and this is not cutting too well because it's on my it's not flat but we're getting there we're getting there so 13.9 yep I'll do there we go right so that's that's now going to be a lot more central when you pop it on your um, pop it on your card. Okay, so now we're going to stamp this balloon uh, using Bermuda Bay because that matches, and it's going to be nice and dark. Let's get rid of all this rubbish. And then you might have wondered why this stamp in the um, in the catalogue was this funny shape. And the reason it's this funny shape is because it fits perfectly into your balloon. OK, so it's been designed yet again to coordinate perfectly papers, ink and stamps. So we're going to use our mat because it's photopolymer. I'm going to ink that up. And then we are going to stamp that straight down in the middle with a bit of squiggles on either side. And remember, just hold it just for a little bit. You don't, I'm, I'm not actually putting pressure. It's just my finger bending makes it look like I am. But there's actually not much pressure on there at all. There you go. Happiest of birthdays to you. 
I mean, you really can't get much simpler than that. The only tricky bit there is really cutting the cutting the paper down. And once you've figured out how to do that, you could make four of these in quick succession and have four birthday cards ready to go. So just burnish your edges on your lemon lime twist card base. There we go. Bring in your peekaboo peach. A fast fuse. I don't do much. Okay, line up your edges when you are happy. Yay! Happy, happy, happy. There we go. Same on the base. Again, line up your edges, make sure you're happy, because once it's down, it's down. There we go. Alrighty, and then to finish, I literally just took some of our ombre ribbon in lemon lime twist, because it matches, tied a bow, Queen Pit Way. And if you don't know what the Queen Pit Way is, I've got a video. You can see how to tie a bow the Queen Pit way on my list of play on my playlist, um, because some people struggle with bows, and they always like how mine end up turning out. So, okay, that's it. This one's a little fiddly with the ombre ribbon. It's it's just a little um, harsher, not harsher. That's not the right word. I'm looking for stiff. It's a little stiffer than some of the other. Oops, that's a bit long. And some of the other ribbons um, and then a glue dot a trusty glue dot finish and you are done how quick was that so a very quick and easy really simple birthday card pop that on there there you go good to go and I think anyone would like to get that it's really they really pop with these photographic papers so thanks for joining me today hope you've enjoyed that um, I'd love to see your photographic birthday um, cards that you make with this lovely set of designer series paper because I think it is brilliant and as I say come back again soon I'll have more and join me on my blog just follow the links below to my store or my blog Alrighty, thanks very much thanks for watching take care bye